Hi, I'm Nicholas Hamilton, and I'll be chatting with Milky. Conversations with my head always make me want to cry. Squash my thoughts to put my mind at ease, but they come back up to die. Well, I started writing music when I was uh, 18, about two years ago. Um, with my friend Ben Cool in in Ballina, uh, just before I moved out to the states, um, I've been acting for about ten ish years now. So it uh, feels like it was only natural that I kind of uh, progressed onto music, and I've always had it kind of in my blood. And then uh, moved to LA, and started 2019, and it's kind of a natural progression. COVID hit, and it, uh, I've been writing for the last two years since I've been in LA, and uh, now it felt like a right time to actually start releasing stuff. So Inline is about uh, when I was moving to, to LA. It's one of the one of the earlier songs in the EP. Um, just kind of about my like trepidations and, and uh, hesitations about about moving and uh, what that was going to do to my life. And I've always been quite an independent person. I wanted to get away from my small town as much as possible, as quickly as possible. And as soon as I uh, did that, it kind of felt right. But on the way there, it was. Uh, scary as an 18 year old moving to the other side of the world and uh, in line is all about that but the kind of tackling my um, my conscience uh, a little bit and and my decisions and my and qu kind of questioning what I was doing what, what I was doing was right because um, originally started the song was a, a love song like a breakup song to a, about a relationship on the brink of a breakup and uh, when I realized that the lyrics didn't really mean anything to me um, it quickly changed to, to me kind of battling with my head rather than another person I always try to write very um, vaguely. I don't. I think writing with anything in mind, uh, a song can turn quite sour and and, and not great if um, if you do that. Uh, if you go into a session wanting to write a dance hit or a um, or a, a poppy song or a, a love song, uh, I, I don't think that that is a, it's a good method of, of making good music. I very much just start with what's in my head and whatever melody comes with that is natural. I think a song. A good song writes itself. Um, it's very cliche, but it's true for me. Um, so in line was really just. Uh, I think we had that melody, um, the, like the boppy pre-chorus melody. Um, I think either me or Ben came up with that, and then kind of just spewed from there. I started writing some stuff that was about again about a breakup, and then nothing really in my life uh, was directly related to a breakup or anything of that sort. So yeah, it changed to to me writing about uh, my conversation with my head. And then uh, once that was established, it was quite an easy build. I think everyone can uh, relate to the, to the uh, at least everyone who's moved out of home. Um, you always want that independence. I think a lot of people want to be out of their parents' house and out of their hometown as quickly as possible. But that's uh, not facing the fear of that can be dangerous. I think. Um, being able to tackle your feelings in that way, it's a, it's a, it's a uh, thing that a lot of people are getting better at doing, is tackling their feelings, but um, being able to be honest and, and know that uh, even though I, I wanted more than anything to be over in the States and to start living my life there, I was terrified. And um, if anyone can, t t can take anything away from the song, um, it's just how they can relate to that topic, I think. Oh, it's, it's so... My stuff's so not that important. I love it though. Um, I think uh, I, I take a lot of inspiration from my uh, from other uh, songs. I think um, all art is important and has a, a place in the world. But um, I'm very much a uh, I, I take from other uh, artists in, in the music world uh, realm as much as possible. Um, take inspiration from them. I think. Uh, I'd, I'd like to think that it's uh, reminiscent of something by like uh, Amy Winehouse or the um, Arctic Monkeys and El King, and it's very much a uh, it's like a poppy pop rock, um, boppy song that uh, I hope stands on its own. Yeah, I think they're separate. I think. Um, uh, 
I've been acting for so long, and so it's in, it's in my blood to, to act and to perform, and I think music's always been there too, um, right alongside it, but I've only started to explore that very recently. Um, I think obviously performing and, and entertaining in some way, uh, it's, it's really the only thing that I think ties them together. Um, I just love making stuff, whether that's uh, film or um, or music or, or anything really. Just being able to make something that uh, kind of makes a little bit of an impact on someone else's life is, is pretty cool. Um, but even if it doesn't, if it's just a little boppy uh, song that you play on a road trip, then is what it is. No difficulties specifically. I, um, I really just enjoy both. I think um, I was expecting more pushback from the people in my life that uh, on the acting side and, and uh, on the film side, my agents and reps and stuff. But it was very much a, um, as long as I'm willing to create and, and entertain and do stuff that I want to do, um, I think people will be along for the ride with that. I think it's more translating fans from, um, from my music to my... Uh, to somewhat from my music, from my movies to my music. Uh, I think being able to use those fans and capitalize on those fans to, to, to bring them across and rather than them knowing a, a character that I've played more my music and, and who I am as a person instead, I think that's my biggest challenge. It seems to be, it's quite vague every time actually. It's, um, I, cause I wrote in line in Australia and I did my first six months of songwriting uh, where all basically all the shit songs uh, and a few goldies were in Australia before I moved out to LA and then I was able to go through LA and, and living and live in LA while um, doing auditions and doing projects and uh, making music and so that was when I was really able to focus on it and kind of build what I would call my, my method but I think it's, it's very much uh, a lot of my songs start with me sitting alone at a piano crying and writing a song from that or uh, I like working with collaborators a lot a lot of my songs are co-written with people because I think um, especially if you write with someone who isn't in the same genre as you someone like um, I wrote Britain a uh, different year with Britain Buchanan and and no room with a friend of mine called Savs and uh, in line was with Ben Cool and we're all very separate genres and I think it brings if everyone has something to bring to the table that makes a song really special Yeah, more music. I got um, uh, another single after this, and then the EP after that. Um, I'm really, I'm, I'm back home. I think that's the biggest message I want to spread. Is that um, in Australia? I know uh, people who are outside of Australia uh, aren't experiencing um, concerts and, um, and and ticketed stuff right now. So um, I'm really excited to be able to do to perform my original songs for people who want to hear it. Um, so as much as I can do that, uh, the better. I really like Lewis Capaldi, but I think uh, in because I'm, I'm a, I think I'm a songwriter at a heart. So someone like Ed Sheeran who can like go into a session and, and, and put himself in someone else's shoes um, so flawlessly and, and write a song that sounds like they wrote that, then that's I think he's my biggest inspiration. Lewis Capaldi. I really liked. Um, I think. Uh, like the greatest hits of like uh, In Excess and, and the Eagles and stuff, I think is uh, what I grew up with. But um, as of late, I've really loved um, Aloe Black's uh, album, which is, uh, I'm blanking on. Um, it's the album that has The Man on it, which is my favorite song of all time. And I think he's, he's one of those artists that will, I don't think will be known much uh, in his lifetime, but once he passes on, I think a lot of people will go back and, and see him as quite a genius. Or oh, one of mine would be nice. Being able to do a uh, a future thing. Um, I, I just did a Snapchat show, um, and they were looking for a, a, a soundtrack and um, asked me for a few pointers, and I, I pointed them to some of my songs. So maybe one day. 
Santa Montana. Santa Montana. I don't. I've never really gone to many concerts. I'll be honest. I, I, I love uh, doing going to open mics when I lived in Byron when I was a 16 or 17 year old. Um, I haven't done a ton of ticketed concerts, so I'm, I'm really excited to to do that and take inspiration from people by watching them live. One Direction. West. Oh, I love. Uh, I don't. I don't know if it's a guilty pleasure. I love like, uh, like musical uh, numbers, like um, obviously Hamilton and uh, Lion King. And I loved uh, Come From Away. It's one of my favorite musicals. Musical of all time. Very underrated musical. Um, and you often hear me screaming to like a Greatest Showman soundtrack in the car. Um, again, Louis Capaldi. I think I, I res respect that man so much. Um, but yeah, someone like uh, like Yeba or uh, Quinn ninety two, people who um, either write songs similar to how I write, or someone I can just collaborate with and uh, and just be alongside. I respect so many people in this industry, so whoever I can play with, I think um, I'd be happy. My mind went to Queen, which I think it sticks. Um, yeah, I, I, don't, I don't know if I can explain it, but I think everyone just gets it. Who knows? I know that uh, I thought at 18 when I moved to LA, I had everything together and I thought I was a, the perfect person. Um, but I've learned so much over the last two years of being in LA and I don't know what's going to happen in this next year. I could be back in LA in, in May next year. I could not be. Um, I'm playing everything minute by minute now. I think 2020 made like long-term goals quite inefficient um i know that i know what i want to do tomorrow and whatever i can do tomorrow to make the next day better is, is those are my goals right now so who knows a year from now i could be a totally different person i think i'd be okay with that kind of always i've always felt like uh my little drama queen self was always uh, very much. I was throwing temper tantrums when I was a kid, and very I was very dramatic when, uh, when I was a, a kid. And I've I've funneled that into acting for a very long time now. Um, but music's always been such a massive part of me, driving along with my mum or dad, my brother, and singing to their genres and their their music tastes. Uh, I think it was always just a part of me, and I think it was only a matter of time that I started writing and now releasing. Um, I'm excited to see where it takes me.